Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for this beautiful February 15th, 2023. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. And now together, the Venite. <clears throat> Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 101, together. I will sing of mercy and justice to you, O Lord, will I sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. O oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors, I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. And only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. Those who act deceitfully shall not dwell in my house and those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will soon destroy all the wicked in the land, that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Let us continue with Psalm 109. Hold not your tongue, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked, the mouth of the deceitful, is opened against me. They speak to me with a lying tongue, they encompass me with hateful words, and fight against me without a cause. Despite my love, they accuse me, but as for me, I pray for them. They repay evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man against him, and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty, and let his appeal be in vain. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife become a widow. Let his children be waifs and beggars, and let them be driven from the ruins of their homes. Let the creditor seize everything he has. Let strangers plunder his gain. But you, let this be the recompense from the Lord to my accusers, and to those who speak evil against me. But you, O Lord my God, O deal with me according to your name. For your tender mercy's sake, deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I have faded away like a shadow when it lengthens. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh is wasted and gaunt. I have become a reproach to them, and they see and they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord, my God, save me for your mercy's sake. Let them know that this is your hand that you, O Lord, have done it. They may curse, but you will bless. Let those who rise up against me be put to shame, and your servant will rejoice. Let my accusers be clothed with disgrace and wrap themselves in their shame as in a cloak. I will give great thanks to the Lord with my mouth. In the midst of the multitude will I praise him, because he stands at the right hand of the needy to save his life from those who would condemn him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Look down from heaven and see from your holy and glorious habitation, where are your zeal and your might? 
the yearning of your heart and your compassion, they are withheld from me. For you are our father, though Abraham does not know us, and Israel does not acknowledge us. You, O Lord, are our father. Our redeemer from old is your name. Why, O Lord, do you make us stray from your ways and harden our heart so that we do not fear you? Turn back for the sake of your servants, for the sake of the tribes that are your heritage. Your holy people took possession for a little while, but now our adversaries have trampled down your sanctuary. We have long been like those whom you do not rule, like those not called by your name. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fires kindle brushwood and the fire causes water to boil to make your name known to your adversaries so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down, the mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God beside you who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you and your ways. But you are angry and we sinned because you did Yourself we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean, and our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we all are your people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning is the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open by day or night. They will never be shut. They will call you the Holy One of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will be no more heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your king will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark. Again they came to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him and said, By what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do them? And Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? Answer me. They argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin? They were afraid of the crowd, for all regarded John as truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Then he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. Now when the season came, he sent a servant to the tenants to collect from them the share of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him and beat him and sent him away half-handed, empty-handed. And again he sent another servant to them. This one they beat over the head and insulted. Then he sent another, and that one they killed. And so it was with many others, some they beat and others they killed. He had still one other, a beloved son. Finally, he sent him to them saying, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him, killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. 
What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And this was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. When they realized that he had told this parable against them, they wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowd. So they left him and went away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Zechariah, together. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath that he swore to his father Abraham, to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Sisters and brothers, let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers, and because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, give us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being, and we humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of God's church. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. Let us pause here and bring our own needs and intentions and intercessions before the Almighty and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, and his forgiveness.
Remember us, O Lord, when we come into your kingdom. As we move through the world, show the world you move through us. Keep us faithful to your teachings and never let us be parted from you. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your redemption, above all, for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves, your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer this morning. We hope that you'll join us again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. as we continue the daily office. God bless you. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. See you tomorrow.